Hello, happy Monday. I've had a very busy weekend and I'm going to have a very busy week. <laughs> So I am in the lab, it's 9 o'clock, I'm going to sit down and just really plan my day hour by hour because your girl has a lot of things to get done today. We have finally gotten around to testing my samples! Hooray! Um, so I need to prepare all my samples today and I need to autoclave everything, sterilise everything to be ready for tomorrow to put my samples into my plates. So this week we need to pray for some active invertebrate extracts. We need some good results. Do you ever just look at your to-do list for the day and instantly get overwhelmed? Cause yeah, same. <laughs> ah, help me. Hello, so I've been a bit MIA today because I've been preparing what feels like a bazillion samples <laughs> for testing tomorrow and I've had to do loads of calculations, I've had lots of Eppendorfs to label, lots of tubes to label. Here are all of my samples, this row here, these and I don't know why these ones are here but they are part of my my samples as well. So I have a lot of samples, now I need to dilute them further. First of all, I'm going to vortex them and then I'm going to put them in the centrifuge in order to get the particles down to the bottom. This one doesn't really... Oh yeah, you can see at the bottom there is like a precipitate. So I want to just take the supernatant. It is currently half past three. I was supposed to go to a, a gym class at quarter past five, but I don't know if that's going to happen now because today has been super busy and I'm still not finished what I need to do for today. It's just one of those days where I came in at nine and I'm probably gonna leave at six, half past six. It's just been super duper busy, but hopefully all the hard work will pay off if I get some good results in my assay. Hello, it's 6 p.m. I am tired, I'm ready to go home. I managed to get all of my samples prepared, which is good. So they're all ready to go for tomorrow. Some of them dissolved a bit weird, but I think they should still hopefully be okay. My bacterial cultures are now shaking in the incubator, ready for tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm really excited actually to see the results of my assay. But I feel nervous too because I hate doing something for the first time. It just makes me feel a bit anxious and nervous so hopefully it works out. I'm going home now to relax for the evening because I'm very very tired. No more work will be done this evening so I will see you in the morning. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Um, as you will see, it's absolutely pouring of rain, which was just started as soon as I was going to get out of the car. I've just arrived at the lab, it's nine o'clock and I have bad news. So I told you yesterday I was gonna run my samples today. I've come in, I've looked at my overnight cultures and one of my cultures has decided not to grow, which means that I can't test my samples today. This means I'll have to make a new plate, which won't be ready until tomorrow. Uh, which then means that, I don't know what it means to be honest, I need to really sit down and figure out if I can actually run my samples this week with the time that I have left now. Stress mode activated. <laughs> so this is what I mean, this culture has not become cloudy at all, which means it hasn't grown. And if we compare it to this culture, you can see there's quite a drastic difference there. So this culture has grown, this culture has not grown at all. This is really not what I need when I was so excited and so ready to like push forwards and get my samples tested and now this spanner has been thrown in the works. So like I say, I don't know what's going to happen now. I need to sit down and think about it because if I plate up my sample today, the new plate will be ready tomorrow. I'll need to make an overnight culture tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Then they need to incubate for four to eight hours. So from Thursday to Saturday, Ah, so it might mean I could maybe fit it in, it just means that I need to come in on Saturday and I actually have plans all weekend. So a little update, I prepared new plates for my bacterial cultures, but then we got an email telling us that the waterworks are being fixed on the weekend, which means that I can't come in on Saturday, which means that I can't run my test this week because there's literally no time to do it. So my plans for this week have been completely ruined. Who knows if we'll even have a weekly vlog this week because it seems like I'm not going to have much lab work to do. 
feeling a bit deflated, I'm not going to lie. Honestly, I have been waiting for so long to run these samples because things have gone wrong so many times along the way or the method hasn't been exactly perfect. So just to have another obstacle come in the way is just really, really... Uh. It's ironic as well because just yesterday I was literally saying that I was going to try and be more positive because I was feeling a bit negative about my PhD yesterday. Here I am ranting to you about my experiment failing. I am a firm believer in everything happens for a reason and I'm really hoping I didn't jinx this because yesterday I said to my partner that I want to try and finish everything up by Thursday so I can then take Friday off. And now it looks like I might have Friday off because I can't do anything with my plate. Hello, hello. It's Friday now and I'm just coming on to just kind of round off the vlog because as you will have seen, it was a bit of a fail. My experiment didn't work and I couldn't come in on Saturday to complete it, as I already said. So for the last few days, I've just been working from home, trying to get some things done that I wouldn't have got done otherwise if I was in the lab. I think this week has really tested me and has really proved to me that I am actually resilient when it comes to failing experiments. Being resilient during your PhD is one of the main attributes that I think you will gain because you will quickly begin to realise as you start your PhD that things don't always work out. Your experiments aren't always going to be successful and sometimes things will just go wrong. <laughs> In the past, I've actually got quite annoyed and kind of beat myself up if my experiments are taking longer than I would have liked them to. But in this case, I have just accepted it and I'm moving on and I'm quite grateful to have had the time at home this week. So hopefully next week we will test my samples and I will get the results that I need. How many times have I said that at this point? And we will put this week behind us and have a fresh start. This is all part of the roller coaster, which is a PhD and I'm just trying to embrace it and trying to be positive and find the silver linings like I was saying earlier in the week. Thank you again for watching. I'm sorry that there wasn't much uh, lab footage this week, but like I said, I didn't do much lab work. Hopefully next week's vlog will be more of a success in my experiments and in the actual content as well. And I look forward to chatting to you guys in the comments. See you next time. Bye.